Those of you that have been following my channel, this may be repeated information, but it's to help spread the word uh, on YouTube and to get the message out there. But God gave me a uh, vision in March, around M March uh, the 1st and 2nd week of March, and then the week of March the 14th, he gave me a second vision. The first vision was all in red. It was the number three standing for the month of March um, is what I thought, and I thought that that was what for sure it meant, but it means more than that. I'll tell you that in just a minute. Uh, but he showed me a red shopping cart uh, after the number three was a red shopping cart, and it was empty. Now, we all know that the number red is used in all Bibles depicting the words from the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, then after the empty shopping cart that was done in red ink and the number three that was done in red ink, there was an empty circle that was a circle in red. Uh, so he wanted me to pray. And then he wanted to show me something that he's using the actual poster off the wall in my bathroom, which is my um, YouTube studio. Okay, it's in my washroom. I have a poster from my church. It's about um, truelife.org. They, they, it's a website that churches are using to make business cards to try and start up their ministry. And it tells you where to go in certain areas uh, to pass out the cards. And so it just happens to have everything on there except for the number three uh, that Jesus wanted to use. But Jesus put an empty circle on there uh, in red, letting me know that he knows everything that's going on in my house. Everything. He knows where everything's placed. He knows where I hang out, what I'm doing in my house every day after work. He's awesome. But uh, I went into my studio the very next morning after praying, what did the empty circle mean? Well, the empty circle means on my poster... Uh, the circle was exactly the same height, the same width, and I was like, look at that. Look at that, what the Lord has done. Let me move this because the sun, again, is uh, starting to set, and uh, there's just too much sun rays shining in on this camera, and I want you to be able to um, really listen to the message without the sun blasting my face. Um, anyway, um, so what the Lord showed me was there was a gas tank from a gas station in the empty circle that he showed me. So I understood that very quickly. So now then, I've been praying since March, and what he has showed me since March till now is he has showed me everything else that he has showed me all lines up. You're going to have to go to Nets of Hope and listen to every video, and please go to the first video first, and I have playlists. So you can listen to them all through, or you can just go to them one by one by going to the very first one that was published and then clicking on each one that follows a pattern. Uh, there will be some that I did not put in a playlist because they were just directed to the public or directed to Gil Broussard. And there was only a couple of them, and I didn't have a reason to line them up with certain playlists because they really didn't, like, fit into Dreams or Revival or whatever. So you might want to just listen to every video because all the information is pertinent. And all the information is important. It means something. Um, but anyway, uh, what I wanted to say, if you're listening to this particular video, is our food supply is going to be completely empty, is what the Lord is showing me. Whether you're a pastor or a church member, many of you may say, oh, the Lord's going to take care of me. Well, yes, he will. But does he not warn us through the Holy Spirit uh, when death is coming, when disaster is coming, uh, don't we listen to the news people and the radio people when storms are coming, hurricanes are coming, and we take action? Do we, um, at that time, count on the Lord and we don't get off our butts and we don't go to the... Gr Let's just say, for one instance, if during Hurricane Harvey, um, we just said, oh, the Lord's going to take care of us, and we didn't get off our butts and go buy plywood, water, flashlight batteries, 
and food. Would we have had any of that to survive? The Lord wants us to use wisdom, and he wants us to look at the Bible. Now, Joseph in the Bible was in prison. Pharaoh uh, was told by his people that there was a man in prison that could read dreams. Well, he called for him. He had him summonsed. He went before Pharaoh, and he wanted to know if he could read his dream. His dream was about seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. Well, Joseph was able to read it, and uh, he became the prime minister over Egypt, and he led them through the seven years of plenty and the seven years of little by storing up the food. Okay, so I need you to really listen to Jesus and his word in the Bible and how it was written, what it was written for. It was all written, to be honest with you, to guide every one of us throughout the years of our lives. It's a, it's a diary. It's a diary. So listen, um, so when I prayed, uh, the Lord showed me that the number three also means, not just for the month of March, but it means that in three months, earthquakes will come and the 18-wheelers will not be able to get to the gas pumps, and they will not be able to get to the grocery stores, and some trucks will be destroyed, possibly. You and I both know when earthquakes began, it destroys freeways, highways, and it kills people. Now then, my very first earthquake uh, vision was of three school buses, three yellow school buses. So this is what I'm thinking that the Lord's showing me from a pattern. He's also given my 10-year-old granddaughter dreams of earthquakes coming and shaking her school so bad, it was like the Lord took her school and shook it like a cracker box, and they couldn't stand up on the playground. And she had five dreams of such horrific earthquakes and tsunamis, and she lived down in Angleton, Texas, okay? So, now then, um, so if the Lord is showing me this, I think we need to listen. Now, I've already got some food stacked up, but he's also showed me this. When the comet comes, there's going to be a great magnetic pull. The magnetic pull is going to cause the cans and anything and everything metal to fly out the windows of our houses, uh, anything in our cars to fly up. Our cars will lift up off the ground. Ships in the ocean will come up out of the ocean. Um, it is going to be a very freaky day for all those that are alive. I don't know what's going to happen to street signs, red lights, stop signs. Uh, we're talking about such a disaster that we've never seen before because of the magnetic pull. Now, if the rapture is to come, it will come then because it will pull the coffins out of the ground and the dead in Christ will rise first and then we'll meet him in the air. But I don't know if it's his will yet. I have seen the fallen stars come to the earth um, and I have seen disaster of destroyed cities after the stars fell. But I had a dream that he gave me way before I ever came to the church that I'm at now. And in that, I had three, a triplet dream of the same three dreams repeated three times, except for the last dream, God showed me something. I was not human. I had wings. And um, I flew to the top of the building when he asked me to go to the top of the building. And then when I got to the top of the building, there was a huge hole going all the way through the building, deep down into the earth. And this uh, hole was a star had fell through the building, down through the earth, and he had me fly into it and try and find the end, and I could not. So it's going to be a huge, heavy impact. I do have videos on the falling star, and it's called the Rapture. Uh, the after the rapture comes, the left behind people. And God allowed me to see what ages they are, there were no children, and what kind of lives they were going to live. They're going to be living like the days of Hitler. 
Please store up your food and let me know if you've had any dreams or visions. Please record them, put them on your channel. I would like to listen to them. They're worth my research, okay? Thank you and have a good day, and may the Lord bless you and keep you. And uh, please spread the news about my channel. Make videos, pull my information up on a computer, get your cell phone out, take a camera picture of it, and just blast it out on the internet and help me reach people for Christ. Thank you.